kids, it's Miss Hannah. Today we're going to talk about walking with God. How cool is it that our God wants to walk with you? Do you remember when you learned how to walk? Hmm, probably not. Most of us learned how to walk when we were really little, like one years old. But if you remember learning how to walk or not, you probably know that to get anywhere you want to go, you have to take more than just one step. Or you have to walk with more than one leg. What would happen if I tried to get somewhere but only took one step? Hmm, I wouldn't get very far, would I? Or what if I tried to walk but only used one leg? Let's try it. Oh, see, I just walked in a circle. I didn't really go anywhere, did I? Walking takes one step, then the other, one step, then the other. It's kind of like that when we get to walk with God. One of the first steps we can take to walk with God is getting to know him and spending time with God. We do that by talking to him and listening to him when we pray. We get to know God when we spend time with him, when we read our Bibles and memorize those words or worship him or spend time learning about him. But the next step we can take in walking with God is doing actions. It's living our faith. We can take a step of walking with God when we serve others, when we use our gifts and our talents to do things with and for God. Remember, walking with God is such a cool thing we get to do, but it's more than just one step. It's one, then the other, then the other. Today, kids, I want you to remember that we get to walk with God and he will take us on an amazing adventure so we can experience his love and share it with others. Let's ask him today for his help to help us take more than one step, getting to know him and walking with him together. Will you please pray with me? Dear God, thank you for walking with me Help me to spend time with you and then to live for you. I love you, God. Amen.